Hey guys, we're in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. We're gonna get some handmade donuts and go crate digging for a vinyl. Manhattan Three Decker Restaurant, located on Manhattan Avenue at the corner of Norman Avenue, has been in business since 1945. This family-owned diner is named Three Decker after their signature sandwiches, the Three Decker Club Sandwich. The Three Decker contains three slices of bread with two sets of filling, including a choice of tuna salad, egg salad, sliced turkey and bacon, among others. We loved its neighborhood vibe and were amazed at their affordable prices. We got a delicious large iced coffee for only a dollar, whereas many other places in this rapidly gentrifying neighborhood would easily charge three or four dollars. The best way to get to this area of Greenpoint is to take the G train and get off at the Greenpoint Avenue station. Peter Pan Donut and Pastry Shop on Manhattan Avenue near Norman Avenue has been in business since the 1950s. The current owners, Donna Siafakis and her husband, Christos, purchased the shop in 1993 after meeting in a donut shop in Queens where she was a waitress and he was a baker. They used all the original owner's recipes and kept the original decor with the wraparound S-shaped lunch counter, checkerboard floor, and stainless stools. By the time we arrived in the late afternoon on a Saturday, many of their delicious handmade donut flavors, including their most popular, Red Velvet, had already sold out as the shop opens at 5 a.m. on weekends and 4.30 a.m. on weekdays. Peter Pan also serves a variety of other baked goods, which are all made fresh daily as well as breakfast sandwiches. You can have us eat inside or take it away like we did and eat nearby at McCarran Park. Donuts are only $1.25 each. Hey guys, we just got two donuts from Peter Pan Donut Pastry Shop. We got a white cream coconut. Extra good. And an old fashioned powder donut. The Thing, located on Manhattan Avenue near Huron Street, is a thrift shop with used furniture, clothing, books, comics, magazines, and VHS tapes located on the first floor. But what amazed us is their giant selection of vinyl records spread out across the back room and the entire basement level. The Thing has been in business since 1996, and the owner, Isaac Cosman, acquires and restocks records on a weekly basis from estate sales, auction sales, and private DJ collections. When you go in there, you'll notice newer records are located on the first floor in the back room near the staircase. And all vinyl is $2 with a huge selection of 12-inch singles. Don't forget to look for the listening station on a shelf in the corner of the back room. The basement is full of tens of thousands of vinyl records packed tightly on shelves and in crates piled up high to the ceiling.
Just when you think you've finished a whole entire row and scan through the racks upon racks and crates upon crates, don't forget, there's a whole nother side. So if you initially head to the right side when you go downstairs like we did, be sure to weave through the crates to get to the left side. Regulars include Frankie Bones, who's bought many ultra-rare records at the shop. So there's always a chance of finding a gem if you have a lot of time and are up to the challenge of digging through all those crates, which, by the way, are in no particular order. Slice Shop on Franklin Street at the corner of Noble was opened by longtime pizza enthusiast Paulie Giannone as an homage to the many old school Brooklyn pizzerias he had slices at in the 1960s and 70s. With its mid century modern decor and 60s and 70s Yankee memorabilia lining the walls, it's a really great spot to grab a slice, including Sicilian squares and many vegan options. There's even a bar in the back room to lounge at a working Atari video game console complete with seating and dessert options including Spumoni from L&B Spumoni Gardens. guys, we had a great afternoon exploring Greenpoint and having a dollar iced coffee from the Manhattan Three Decker Restaurant to go along with our delicious homemade donuts from Peter Pan Donut and Pastry Shop. And then working up our appetite again by digging through crates and crates of vinyl at The Thing. And of course, ending the day with some great slices from Paulie G's Slice Shop. We hope you enjoyed our Greenpoint video. Please hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. We'll be posting new videos weekly and plan to visit another area of Nolita next week. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.